you have to excuse the mess on the table and the light is, isn't perfect but this is how um, things are looking currently um, and I'll just quickly step you through what we've got on the table here and it'll make a bit more sense. So we've got the AC SSR I'm thinking about changing that out to a relay. The only one I've got however is a set of four so I have got a couple of single ones coming but I haven't got them just yet so I can't decide whether I should use a relay or an SSR um, they've got their pros and cons so I'm not too sure just yet still making my mind up um, but either way this is turning on and off depending on the voltage so if the batteries start getting flat at 60 volts this will turn off and it will only turn once uh, turn back on again once it hits 75 volts the the main controller here is um, a you know with uh, RFM 69 chip that's processing all the code and then sending that wirelessly to my main monitoring software currently I've got a boost converter um, a, oh sorry, a buck converter 12 volts down to 5 volts so I can have a stable voltage going into um, everything all the sensors and things um, now I've got three current sensors one for each bank um, the, don't worry about the, the soldering um, I'm sure someone's going to comment but it is an absolute prick to try and solder um, 8 gauge cables to um, a chip so yeah it's it could be better it just doesn't look that good but it's solid and it's going to be fine for 30 amps so um, the other thing is is that this thing over here is a current sensor this is meant to be 30 amps it might the chip might be over 30 amps but by crikey there's no way in heck that little lug there is never going to support 30 amps it's just too small 10 amps um, possibly but not not 30 so that's where you need the big ones um, which is what we've got here so they're rated at 100 amps but obviously we're only ever going to put about 30 something amps through it so that's going to be perfectly fine and there's one of those per bank now the other thing I've got over in the back here which is just hanging there it's actually just sitting there that's a 16 bit ADC so that's for my voltage um, readings for the voltage from the power wall that's currently connected to a, 18, a single 18650 just for testing but what we've got um, over here is the voltage divider so this side here gets connected to the 83 volts straight from the power wall through a small fuse and then on this side of it um, is only 4 volts this 4 volts will plug directly into the ADC so that's well that's 16 bit ADC so that's how we get our um, the voltage reading of 83 volts now um, the other thing is is that this piece this plastic cover here which is it's quite nice and deep it's got a back um, for it as well so that'll sit quite nicely on top of the uh, well, in the um, current sensors will sit quite nicely inside of this and then this will sit on the wall and you'll just see three red cables coming at the top and then that obviously out the bottom so that'll look quite nice and it sits in there it's nice and deep and that'll work quite well um, the other thing is is that you now just to show you this what's on the screen um, oh, this is going to go this part of the circuit is going to go in here there's quite a bit of room in behind there and is um, and then that sits and screwed into this and then that sits on the wall so it, it will look quite nice once it's all up and going now the problem is is that I had to try and cut the square out of the um, plastic and that didn't work so well I tried to just cut it out so it was just enough to fit the actual um, screen in itself without the surround um, I couldn't get it looking good so then I cut a bit more and then I cut it too much and then so now I have a bit of a gap so if I zoom in a bit you'll see what I mean there's a slight bit of a gap around it now that's not too much of a problem since the it's going in the garage and no one's really going to look at it apart from me but um, as you can see what I've got on the screen is the says so power wall mon obviously I've got um, 78.4 volts um, the current is currently wrong because I've been mucking around with knocking cables um, it also tells me the, what the wattage is and how many watts is being used currently it's it's that'll go minus or positive um, depending on whether we're charging or using the um, grid time inverter we've got state of charge the one of those numbers is or those numbers of that line itself isn't clearing so there is some old data on there so but like that A before the AC part so I need to fix that small um, small changes but just in the code but um, so what we've really got is the the voltage and the amps the watts state of charge and then whether the AC SSR is either on or off so if I um, I'll just um, if I just unplug 
that you'll see that it turns off and then this turned the light, little light there turned off as well so I've just finished wiring up um, the connection in the box what I've decided to do is um, just cut these in half use this so that I can easily unplug bits and pieces it's going to be hard to um, once I get the second one of these on top going to be hard to unscrew these so well, it's going to be frustrating so the easiest thing to do is just keep the the plugs on the end and terminate it into here it comes out of there and um, on this side I've decided to also put the voltage um, or the the 16 bit ADC in with the current sensor um, box that way that parts all together and that kind of makes sense because the current sensor is very close to where um, I need to wire it for the voltage or for the, the plus and minus of the um, power wall so it just kind of makes sense to have all that in one container and uh, out of the nine cables here um, I've got about two remaining so it, the, the nine pin plug was perfect and it just meant that I could one duplicate the positive and negative for both the current sensors as well as the ADC and the second thing would be um, I've got enough there's still two cables to do something else with so yeah pretty happy with that that'll look quite nice in the box and it, it's wired up quite nicely I've, I've got a bit of length in there um, I can always shorten it later down the track but for now that's um, it should be fine right so I've managed to fit everything back in there at a push I must say I've wired up the second um, nine pin block and um, everything else is kind of squeezed in there and, and wired up so it's not perfect I had to um, make some bends and some cable adjustments or some plug adjustments to make it all fit um, but it is definitely fitting I've um, cut some holes where we can plug the power in and the um, USB cable um, this is the antenna so I'm hoping that I don't actually need to have that external but I'll just leave it on the top and take it into the, into the garage and see if, it, if the range is still good uh, and so yeah that's looking um, that's looking pretty promising the case just fits on the top or on the um, yeah the top of it which is actually at the bottom but um, yeah that's a bit of an update and moving on to the next thing really so it's a bit of a work in progress I've had to do a lot of shuffling around I've spent the last probably two hours changing wires and moving connections around I've raised the circuit breakers up I've also, um, so that this unit can fit in here, the um, current sensors with the um, ADC in the middle. I've also had to change this around, so that's the positive um, terminal block. So I've had to move that around so it fires, or faces upwards because that's where all the connections go in. Uh, sorry about the lighting. Uh, I've also had to, I, I, I put it in and then I had to change it again and I found this, this is a 100 volt version of the um, voltage monitor it's a few volts out from the uh, multimeter so it's, it's probably good enough but um, I decided to use that which meant that I had to um, desolder some, uh, some wires in here, wire that in so I've got this actually running off the 5 volts so you put 5 volts in and then you've got the source cable which is connected to the high voltage or the 83 volts so uh, yeah, that, it's a bit of a work in progress right now and I'll just flick over to this side. Uh, each of the, the circuit boards have a plastic um, backing on it. Uh, and I've also had to, yeah, so down the bottom here, this is how this is looking. Um, I might have to fix some lighting. But anyway, that's how that's looking. I want to put it all together, get that part finished off, put the cover on and tidy it up and then I'll do a better video with better lighting. So this is how it's looking like on the wall in the daylight. Uh, it's still a bit um, dark in here, it's not a very sunny day outside but I'll show you, uh, I'll just take you through what I've done. I've put a label on the front of this just to make it easier um, so we know what things are for other people looking at it. I've also on the screen there um, all those uh, details there are showing correctly. I've made some code changes so that's improved some of those things. I've also put a cover on this so this is how this is looking. Um, it's not screwed in so that's why it's a bit off the wall but that will give you a bit of an idea of how it looks. The other thing I, I'll just quickly show you is if I zoom in on here and turn the solar back on again you'll see the amps will start ramping up. Now unfortunately it's a wet and cloudy day 
so it's not going to be fantastic however we should see these numbers start moving very quickly uh, very shortly here we go so it's refreshing pretty well the code um, seems to be doing what it um, what I expected uh, as soon as that settles down a little bit yeah 5.3 somewhere on there if I go across to here you'll see that these are each showing just under two amps just under and if I go across to here we should be about right so all in all so 450 yeah, watts which is about right so over here we've got 160, 160 and then another 160 up the top. So as you see um, it's really cloudy so we're only getting 2 amps at this time of the day which is about 2 o'clock in the afternoon so I'd be expecting normally about 10-15 amps. So it's nice and stable, well fairly stable, uh, stable enough really. Uh, and that's, that's how that's looking. So really the next video is going to be uh, sorting out the AC switch so that it will automatically turn the inverter on and off depending on the loads. So what I'll do is I'll start that build and I'll bring the camera back on that. So um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like the video if you haven't liked it yet and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks guys for watching.